another episode of Adventure Unlimited. We are currently attending the water festival. Yep, just walking past Wapatom Park and heading down to the river front. Pretty pumping. It kind of feels like New Year, but not as hot. Yeah. <laughs> and no water fights. We're going to check out what activities are down there, some food stalls, general festivities. And um, it's just probably about an hour before sunset. So we should be down there for all the lanterns and boats and everything lighting up on the water, which should look. Take you along. Enjoy. of it now. So the palace. The palace is over there. Foreshore is just in front of us. She's packed. It's getting peoplely. Yeah. You can see as far as I can see. sitting along now will reverse course so there'll be so much water coming down from the Mekong that actually pushes the water back up and into Ton Lay Sap which is like the largest inland lake in the world but this year it's still it's still running out to the sea so it's a good wet season but not quite good enough to reverse the river and then the the dragon boat races date back to the Khmer Empire in the 12th century they used to be used as um, like really similar boats used to be used as um, like battle ships effectively um, and the Khmer Empire defeated a number of adversaries that tried to come and take over um, in that period around 1160 from what I read so a bloody long time ago yeah cool little bit of history and tradition and everyone's out having a good time yeah, the water festival is to bless the waters for the up and coming dry season. Yeah.
think we missed all the dragon boat races. Yeah. We got down here like 4.30. And what I read online said that they went into the early evening. But yeah. results may vary. Yeah, and the barges are all coming out with the lights all on them. And that was supposed to start at 8 after the boat races. It's 5.30. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. So. But it's cool. Moon's coming up. Vibes are high. The barges look small yeah. on the GoPro, but they're bloody massive. Yeah, they are huge. So, so we'll wait for them to cruise past and then go for a wander along the uh, the Riverside Road. Yep, go find some beers. Yeah, get thirsty. <laughs> Making the trek back home. So after we missed the boat races, we watched the barges come up with all the lights. Then we stopped into a bar for a beer and then we went and got some Indian for dinner. And now we're trekking out back home. Yeah. It's been a good experience. Everyone's just happy. Chilling out, taking selfies. And everyone's walking on the correct side of the road. <laughs> yeah. There's a stream going that way and there's a stream going this way. It's just, That's good. It's so good. Yeah. Everyone's just, this is the side we you drive on over here and we just walk. Yeah. And we're on that side. The vibes remain high. Good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you are thinking about coming to Cambodia, highly recommend coming for the water festival. It's quite the spectacle.